little construction project I've been working on here. Um, pulled a bunch of uh, electrical for new outlets. Um, did two dedicated outlets over there. Uh, there were like 30 total new outlets. There's a kind of existing one over there, but I pulled quite a few. We ran everything just an, an MC cable and a bunch of new junction boxes and stuff. Um, HVAC wise, unfortunately, everything I have to do is duct work, which is my favorite, of course. Um, so this is a 16 here, which is a little small for this. I think it's a three ton, something like that. So a 16 inch round seems a little, a little skinny. I guess not, not the worst I've seen, but and it has some kind of a bullshit T right here. And it had two return grills right next to each other. One was the full 16, and this one's like a, uh, what is that, a 10? I'm not good at sizing ducks. From, I, 10 or maybe a 12. But anyways, I don't understand that. Maybe it was making noise, and they tried to mitigate it with that or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, but anyhow, uh, we do want another We do want another return uh, a little further away. It doesn't need to be 16 though, because the max we get out of it is 16. And if we are gonna have this 10 or 12 inch drop right here, then uh, I figured eight would be more than more than sufficient. So uh, I got a box of eight and some reducer couplings that hopefully I can fit on the end of that T. This thing's pretty emaciated and we'll try to clean that up a little bit too. And uh, yeah, other than that, uh, and then we have a, another return over here since this wall is getting set up, there's a 18 inch that used to drop right here. It was all crunched up. This is as far as I could get it to stretch. So unfortunately I have to put the coupler. I'll probably put the coupler back here where it's easy to get at. Cause I have a whole box of 18 also. And I have to somehow grudge fuck it over to that side of the wall. Not looking forward to this. I hate flex duct. I need duct work in general, but the flex sucks especially. Uh, the data boxes and the yeah, ring and string to quite a few locations. Uh, everywhere there is an outlet, there's one of those too. So uh, this electrical whip has to move. There's originally going to be a drop for a workstation right here, but that's now moving over over here, I think. So I wish I'd got it dropped before they got the drywall done, but just didn't have time. So I left plenty of whip on there to go wherever it was going to be in the middle of the room, but uh, it's not enough to reach over there, unfortunately. So I got to do another J box. So. And then I have to pan off this and make it fit 8 inch. So I'm just going to cover it with a whole new piece over the top and then use a circuit cutter to cut an 8 inch in there. Pop a fresh start collar on there. Right, get that as far back as the 25 foot box will reach from there so and then last but not least these are the old uh used to be a switch two switches came down right there uh, so we're gonna move those into this wall and that of course is uh gonna require some some half inch flex going down the wall there so I'm not done drilling holes in the plate yet and that's about it for what I have to do. Uh, I think uh, there'll be a little little bit of plumbing, uh, but that's not not quite ready for that. We're waiting for the main isolation valve to get swapped out, uh, the main for the building, and then we're gonna start from our three quarter inch main in here with a new isolation valve and uh, plumb up what we need to. Uh, we got a water heater to replace and a couple of things to add, and so we'll see how it goes. All right, we got this uh, this return tied in here. Uh, did I tape it yet? I'm not sure if I taped it yet. Uh, probably put another strap on there too, kind of uh, on the on the downside there, is to support it a little better. I don't know, this is all oh, this is looking nicer than any other flex duct in the building. It's pretty pretty shitty in here, so. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to adjust the straps on this return box here too. That's kind of, the T-grid's a bit fucked so it was falling away. But you know, we got our reducers and stuff in there. 
probably put another strap on that side also. Uh, this is a little more scrunched up than I'd like it, but you know, again, ain't no Taj Mahal. Uh, I'm gonna untwist this and just drop it in this bay. I don't know why it's turned all weird like that. So, so it's again not not so scrunched up and making a 180 degree turn there. Get a little better flow out of her. Uh, I don't know. This register over here. I guess it's getting yeah, it's getting a decent amount of airflow. It's just, I haven't looked at it real closely, but that connection looks pretty shady there. But it's not really not really uh kind of going for the bare minimum on this one so uh, what should happen is it should all get ripped out and done again but that ain't happening in this job so so yeah that's going to be it for that and then we'll uh, move on to electrical i got my whip pulled over here mount a j box wherever wherever it stretches out too comfortably enjoy my uh my soda for a minute Flash on, okay, I guess. Alright, uh, so today we're back in this, uh, this pharmacy again here where it's doing the duct work. And uh, we got an isolation valve to replace and a bunch of other plumbing work to do, but we're going to start here. This crusty old gate valve. And uh, I mean, I didn't even, didn't even try it because I knew, just knew it was frozen just by looking at it, but you know, replace that with a nice ball valve and who did this and they obviously did not care about the quality of the work left the flex corrosive flex all over everything looks like absolute dog shit but yeah, here we go so get that valve replaced okay there we go not the prettiest job ever but you know we're uh, dealing with what we got to work with and water squirting everywhere and stuff so our main isolation valve in there and now we can start on everything else and get a partner working on the, uh, the water heater <laughs> water heater location over there and uh, yeah we're gonna get after that next we're gonna build a nice little stand and install a proper water heater <clears throat> all right so this pharmacy again and uh, this water heater got installed. The customer got in a bit of a hurry and uh, decided to have someone else do it. So I was busy and told them couldn't get to it for a couple days. And this is what we got. Don't really care for any of that too much. The drain pan didn't get tied in. I had a plan for all that stuff. We even had the parts here for it. This bracket was really kind of a joke too. I mean, I guess it's sufficient, kind of, but I'd like to see 45s on there. May or may not get a chance to do that. This plywood isn't attached to the strut at all. It's just floating. I'm going to try to get that stuff handled. Um, and then we should, should be able to tie the TMP and the drain line into this inch and a half if I have it all here. So. Yeah, so I'm going to see if I can clean this up a little bit. I had an isolation valve planned for here too. So, yeah, I'm going to reroute this a little bit and clean it up. And like I said, this pipe being unsupported is probably the main gripe, I'd say. All right, <clears throat> we got this water heater hooked up a little bit nicer now. Uh, and you still need to attach the strap, but I'm leaving that off because the wiring's not in yet. So, uh, yeah, cleaned it up considerably. Got rid of that uh, added the isolation valve that was supposed to be there. I uh, got rid of that big dumb three quarter inch pipe that was sticking out of there. So the reducer adapter right there. Yeah, it's got the TMP and the drain. Green pan tied in there. Nice inch and a half by one T there. So, so I'm going to turn the water on and see if it leaks. Uh, 
which I don't anticipate. But uh, let me go open a faucet too. All right. Oh, you can get it. Let me just get it. Now that, that water heater is squared away, uh, we have a sink to hook up on on the other side of this wall. This little cove is getting framed in here, so we have all this area to work with. Um, there was a sink here with kind of an unusually high drain connection, I guess. Um, I think I measured it was about 30 inches from the floor. So that's a little strange. And then there's this clean out down below here. Um, so anyways, just during the investigation, I went to twist this plug off and this Santee is obviously completely rotten. So it just snapped right off. So you can see it transitions to copper right there. Um, so we have uh, ABS stuff today. Um, so basically I'm going to be using this, this connection as my drain um, and then going to move that Santee down a little bit and that'll be my vent connection that's a little unconventional but it's it's gonna work uh, for here especially um, this is cold water so I'm pretty sure it's cold and insulated anyways so we'll investigate that but uh, so we got the cold water here already and drop the hot down from above through ceiling tile probably just strap it to the wall here um, and then obviously drop it down to the right height and elbow it in i got one of these plates to hold everything which should slide behind there pretty easily you yeah. easy easy day so yeah then we get that started next uh, starting with getting this uh funky old cast iron out here Okay, got that old nasty cast out of there. Uh, nasty piece of ABS in. My vent connection there, my drain connection there. And let's just them over. All right, here it is all done up. We got the angle stops on the other side. Um, I kind of Threw myself a bit of a curveball here and uh, did a little bit of extra work, but uh, it's just redundant to have this event here. I realized after after doing it. So, I mean, obviously, drain connections right there and everything above it is event. So, uh, but that actually works out in our favor because we need a uh, uh, we'll be tying a sump pump in in the future, so we can uh, just what we'll, we're gonna have an access panel right here. So we'll cut and cap that side and then put an elbow on right there and drop our sump pump discharge down in there. So not really that big of a deal. Just, uh, yeah, so that was a little bit silly. Got the hot water line, ran, uh, kind of ran out of, ran out of pipe here, but right to right there. I'm going to have like a partial stick left. So it's just a little bit short. So go finish that up tomorrow or whenever. That's that. All right, this will probably be the last video for this uh, pharmacy here. You see, we got some of the shelving up and ready to go. Um, there was originally a whip up in the ceiling right, right about here. Uh, that was supposed to be the drop. This was supposed to drop straight down to this workstation. Um, then they changed the uh, change that. Or they shouldn't have changed it, but that was what that was the instructions I got to over here. So I extended it over and whatnot. Put a box right there. And outlet outlets under here. Um, but so it turns out that this area did need power still. So uh, this was a bit of an afterthought. So I mounted a box there uh, sideways and I got the EMT coming out of the end hole 
Um, I did the transition coupling right here. Tried to keep everything tidy as, as possible. And the one down here too. Uh, and then I just just got done trimming out all the rest of the outlets, installing them in their respective locations. Got a couple couple ceiling outlets here and there. Some timers for the lighting. A lot of outlets. I think there's a total of uh, maybe like 35 new outlets or something like that. There's a bunch. dedicated outlets done so everything's wired up all the breakers are on and I had a, a short on uh, what was circuit 20 here which is I think the outlets in these two rooms uh, possibly a couple others but uh, I guess I had the hot terminal touching the side of the box or something so just traced that out real quick and that was the only issue so yeah uh, now all we have left to do is still have to finish up that water heater I gotta plug it in and um, uh, finish there's maybe like 10 more feet of piping to do I gotta install this faucet and sink here so and that'll be it for this job after that so might do one video after all this all the water heater and the sink is done all right. we're also gonna be replacing these bathroom sinks I guess Apparently not this toilet, it's wasted, but uh, as of as of the moment, they don't want to change that, so we'll see if that changes too. We're not going to be doing these things either, but here we are, so. Um, anyway, so we pulled the old angle stops off. Uh, they didn't, they seem to be better than most. They're the good, like, good quality, I think they're the, they use the d dowel stops or whatever. So these aren't that old, and they're in pretty decent shape, I guess, but it just says, for GP, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, replace them because we're putting new sink in and stuff. So, so uh, as per usual, I, I don't like the compression uh, stop ones. I always go, I just solder mail it at you know, pull the uh, compression rings off, uh, pull her there, and uh, solder mail adapters on, and then go for the FIP connection on the angle stop. This seems to work out a lot better and easier to change the stop in the future if need be. Um, again, this P-trap is, you know, plastic. It's not in bad shape, I guess, but we're going to just go ahead and replace it anyways. we got a new sink, so. Um, but then over here is where it gets a little more interesting. This one is just absolutely wedged in there. It's cast iron, so I assume it's just, it was making solid contact when it was installed. Probably was a pressure fit when it got installed, and then it just... The electrolysis is just one there, so um, I, to, I tried to just wrench it on that uh, trap adapter there with no, even got out the, the two footer and uh, tried wheeling on it, so it's no dice. Uh, so I'm gonna have to pull that CNT. I'll probably just replace it with ABS. Uh, we'll see. Uh, band clamps are on the back side of this one, it's kind of hard to get at. But I'll be replacing that CNT, and so I probably just do ABS. I have an ABS trap, anyways, and I can just glue the trap adapter on there. And then this was teed in with one of these, like on the tailpiece of the sink, one of these baffle tees. Uh, this is actually the uh, um, TMP and overflow from the water heater. Um, so I'm not sure if I like that either. Um, when I tested the TMP valve, it kind of flooded the sink, didn't overflow it, but it filled the sink because it was teed off. You know, kind of close and the drain is probably a little bit clogged up too so um, we I, I again I bought another T a plastic one because it's gonna be a plastic trap so I might just reconnect it like that or I might uh, put a transition you know a trap adapter here and or not a trap adapter but a uh, you know, female adapter DWV female adapter and uh, trans transition to ABS and do some kind of a Y fitting right here instead. So we'll see about that. We'll, uh, instead of not sure, haven't decided, might do it one way or the other. So um, that'll be that. 
and yeah, that's the bit. Then we'll install the new vanities and sinks. I set up the new vanity stops over here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. New vanities and sinks, and faucets. I got a little empty out of there. New one installed, ready for the trap. Alright, finally got both these vanities installed here. Hooking up all these uh, drain connections is a bit of a pain. This is from that, uh, from that water heater, the TMP, and the drain line are tied into that. Um, so, just with the angles and a tight space. I guess I could have routed this around the other way and maybe used a couple less turns, but I don't know, not really. It's kind of just the way it has to be. It looks kind of funky, but I'm just checking it for leaks now. See any? Looks like we did. We did good. So, it's cheap little vanities, but serving the purpose. Got both the toilets rebuilt too. This one was a little more straightforward. Just had the condensate tied into that. Looks a little shady down there, but I didn't see it leaking before, so. Alright, that about does it for the plumbing stuff on this one.